Hello everybody, Diane here with my retirement video, my retirement vlog. I'm not getting off to a good start. And this is take three. I don't know what's going on this morning, but I must have COVID brain. That's what I'm going to say. I've heard of mommy brain when you have to, after you have a baby. So I just had COVID, so it's COVID brain. All right, here I am, Diane Roberts, retirement video. A video that shows you what I'm doing during retirement. How, what it's like to have no schedule and get nothing done. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. But I'm here again. And it's 52 weeks of dishcloths. We're up to week 40. Today is October 5th, I think. October 5th. Do I have a calendar? I do. Usually better prepared. But this is the third time around and I moved everything. Okay. October 5th, 2022. Wednesday. But, and it is week number 40. I have a link for this dishcloth this week. It's not in my book. Can I tell you a story about my book? This is, a, I'm veering off course here, just for a moment. I like to keep all my books pristine. It's just a thing I do. And most of my books look brand new. <clears throat> Except for my, I've shown you this book many times and it always looked very nice. Can you tell what might have happened to it? Have you heard my multiple stories about the problem dog, Oliver? Oliver. Front and back and pages at the end. So I took a big chunk of my time yesterday, which is why I never get anything done on time, and made what I call the book puzzle. All these pages were in a million pieces. You see all the tape and all the... Let's see if I get the glare right. Oh, you know, I don't have all my lights on down here, but see all the... Look at all the did this damage! I could have killed him. So anyway, that's my book. The, the, the dishcloth for this week is not in my book. It's a link. And you don't even... Did I already say this? You don't even have to print it out? See, this is the second... No, it's actually take three, I think. I don't remember everything I've said. I may be repeating myself. Here's this week's dishcloth. It is called the Beginner Crochet Washcloth Pattern. It's made up of about 26 chain and single crochet row and double crochet row. You single crochet across a row, then the next row you turn and the next row you do. It was half double, half double single, I think. Well, anyway, it's a real easy pattern. I'm leaving the link. You can just have it on your phone and scroll up to it on the phone while you while you're crocheting because then once you know those two rows it's um very simple two very easy stitches that's why they call it the be beginner and it's quick so that's week 40. um yeah so a little recap we're on week 40 in seven weeks just seven more dishcloths till thanksgiving <laughs> And then 12 more dishcloths, well, 11, because I showed you week 40, um, 11 to Christmas. Christmas is on a Sunday this year. It's the last week of the year. It's the first day of the last week of the 52nd week of 2022. So I'm trying to make sure I can find enough dishcloths to finish out the year, because I want to do that. I want to get ready for um vlogmas i was gonna do vlogtober but i have a real lot of um organizing to do so i'm not gonna take on more this is what i do i i just took on two new quilts but i really wanted to one was a had to and one was a want to and this is the just wanted to because i love intricate designs this is called summer moon margaret lewin quilting is going to be um showing us Three blocks every Thursday. Every, the first Thursday of the month. This is going to take, it's a 10 month block of the month. So it's not like I have to get this done right away. I got, I bought the kit because then you're ensured you get all the right fabric. This is, these are the, um, these are, this is half. This is half of the fabric. The other half still in the box because I haven't mocked it up. What I do is, which is recommended by Margaret, and I've made quilts with Margaret before, and you you set up uh, a sheet and cut out little pieces, and I've done it with all my quilts, actually, so that you know which color fabric you need to use on a particular piece. 
I direct myself back to the center here. I'm uh, the reason why I didn't do Vogtobo is because I've got a lot of organizing to do. Plus, I started two new quilts. That was one. That's called Summer Moon, and the other one I've done is called. Um, it is called Patchwork Pops. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and um, isn't it odd? Katie Carrick just got breast cancer in Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So did my friend. I have a very good friend who just uh, was diagnosed with breast cancer, and her surgery is going to be on October 27th. I want to get a quilt done for her. Um, and rather than do just the, uh, you know, the ribbon, the pink ribbon, the iconic <coughs> October uh, symbol <coughs> for the breast cancer, the pink ribbon, I wanted to do something more specific to her likes. She loves dogs, and during her life, she's had a lot of uh, schnauzes. They're very cute. They look a little bit like a Scotty. They kind of got the kind of face like that. So I found this old pattern. It's an old Fonz and Porter. Is it Fonz and Porter? I found it on the Fonz and Porter website, and it was originally published in Love of Quilting. I don't remember when. Probably four or five years ago. And I saw a video, an old video on it. And uh, here's what it looks like on a chair. The little patchwork pups. And it reminds me of schnauzes. And here, here's the... Uh, it's actually 12 big blocks of puppies. And I think it's nice to have a quilt. It's nice to wrap up in a quilt just for whatever. You might have a chill. You might feel a little cozy. You want to feel cozy. Or it's just nice to wrap up in a quilt. So I wanted to do a, a puppy quilt for her. And so I've just started this one. I intend to get a lot done this week. Hopefully I will. <clears throat> so that's why I didn't start Vlogtober. Because I've got a block of the month going, but that doesn't really count. But I still have to prep it for, for this Thursday is the first um, video on that. And then um, I want to get the puppies moving. I've got the, I did, I did, uh, I got the fabric. I starched it all. I've got it all cut out. I want to start sewing it, which I wanted to start a couple of days ago, but one thing after another happened and I didn't start, but now I, do, I usually do a Wednesday morning video and then once my video is edited and uploaded to YouTube, I'm going to start sewing. But I'm working, in, I'm working more slowly these days. I used to work four hours at a time and then go upstairs for a coffee or a soda and maybe uh, watch some YouTube videos for a bit just to kind of like re regroup relax. I get tired. And since I've had COVID, I only last about two and a half, three hours. And I take naps a lot now too, for the last couple of weeks. So hopefully that's going to, you know, wear off gradually, hopefully. And once the sun comes out, if I start walking around in this crisp autumn air, I know that's going to be a lot better. Always helps. Heals the spirit. Anyway, um, I still have to find 11 more dishcloths for the end of the year. Now I have next week's done so that I can dedicate this week to quilting. And I've started the next week, the 42nd week. I've started this that one and I want to show it to you. That was the reason I brought my book down here. Not necessarily to show you that my dog, that my dog totally wrecked my book. But I got it all put back together. This is Oops. <laughs> this is the this is the dishcloth I want to do for you today, and it's called Starflower, and it's knitted. I've been doing crochet towards the end of this uh, this these uh, fifty two weeks, but I want to go, get back to knitting. And this was one of the first ones I wanted to try, but I, I got a little scared off by it. So um, I have all this sec I have all this section done. Do I have my Yes, I think I have it down here. I try to remember to bring everything. I'm either leaving out a lot or repeating myself, and I apologize for that. Here's the round part. Even though it looks square, it's not really. Oh, I'm in the middle of a row here. No, I'm not. I don't know what I am. Okay. So I used a medium color blue 
for the big the middle of the star flower pattern it's a, it will be round even though it looks square uh, and now I and the, the the middle is blue a medium blue and the outside is the the points the points are going to be this variegated so I don't know that I'm going to be able to do this that's why I'm showing it to you now in two weeks if I don't have it I'll explain why I don't but what happens now is we're going from written instructions to a chart each that's the chart for each point I'm not terrific on charts I love charts when I'm doing um color work it's the only way I know how to do it is to use charts but this yep I'm hoping I'm going to be able to do that that is a point it goes perpendicularly let's see where would the point be I think the point would go it either goes this way this way back <laughs> to the I have no clue so I have to study it and see if I get back to you if I can't do it I'll have to research it even more but I'm gonna try hard see if I can get my act together and get this thing done oh, the book is making me itchy all right that's it for the 40th week the 40th week of dish course whoever knew this thing would continue as it has I didn't know if I'd be able to make it not good because it's not quite done yet, but I'm determined. I am determined. So I'll see you again on week 41. Have a wonderful week and enjoy.